We are live. We are live from Western Australia. <laughs> yes. Hello. Guys, we are live. Let us invite the oh, whatever. Sorry. Explaining the verdict in English, but we have to translate it into Philippine language so that everybody can benefit. Hello. Actually, our topic or our specific objective tonight is freedom. And I think Tutumbukin, uh, is that it? I am Kalayan because I know that everybody is in prison or in bondage to somewhere or some things. About this, I Nakapus. We are teaching in English, in plain English, tonight, simply because we have friends all over the world, and so we need to explain it in English, all right? Let's go to the verdict. Punta tayo sa paghahatol. The final verdict. Let's go to the, to the book of Romans. Here in Australia, we are friends. Brethren who are not <coughs> understanding Filipino language. So, we have to at least 
in our simple way of explaining in the language English so everybody can understand. <clears throat> Romans chapter 4 verse 25. Let's go to our to the verdict. Verdict means it is the final or the <clears throat> legal ito ay legal na hatol or legal judgment now Romans chapter 4 verse 25 just one verse Jesus Christ who was delivered or Jesus was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification this is not religion this is not a human philosophy or philosophy yeah or human I, w I, <laughs> I want to clarify something. Human came from two words. Humus and manifestation. Humus means clay. It is a Latin word for dust of the ground or earth or clay. Ang humus ay alabok or lupa. Man is the manifestation, the visible manifestation. Ito ay nakikita. So when you consider yourself as you man, you are actually declaring, calling the heavens and the earth to witness. Pag sinabi mo ikaw ay you man, tinatawag mo ang langit at lupa na magsaksi. Calling the heavens and the earth to witness that you are the manifestation of the accursed. Tinatawag mo ang langit at lupa para magsaksi na ikaw ay sinumpa. God declares the end from the beginning. He does not begin until he is finished. So he finishes first and then he begins. When he created the first Adam, God declared his end or the end of Adam in the beginning of his creation. God declared that the first man became a living soul, a living being. Nung nilalang ng Diyos ang unang Adan dahil ang Diyos ay hindi siya naglalalang o nagsisimula hanggat hindi niya tinatapos. 
tinapos niya muna sa kasya magsimula. So, nung nilalang niya ang unang Adan, diniklara niya siya ng buhay na kaluluwa. And this declaration is documented in Genesis chapter 3 when God said from dust humus thou art from dust humus you shall return kaya napatunayan ito ang deklarasyon ng Diyos sa Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 Nung sinabi niya sa chapter 3 ng Genesis na galing ka sa alabok, sa alabok ka uuwi. And people do not realize how final and legal it is when they call themselves human beings. Ang tao ay hindi na-realize, hindi niya na-uunawaan na kapag sinabi niya ako ay tao lamang, siya ay nagdideklara na siya ay sinumpa. When you call yourself human being, you are declaring actually, that you are the accursed. Guess that the declaration of God when he created the first man, Adam. From dust, from you mus, thou art, from dust, from you mus, thou art returned. And, sabi ng Diyos, ang lupa ay sisibol ng tinik dahil sa kasalanan mo. The earth shall produce thorns, and by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat. Sa pagpapawis ng iyong kilay, Ikaw ay mamumuhay. So, it is very common that we declare ourselves human manifestation of the accursed humus. Napaka normal Sa bawat isa, maging ang ating mga teachers na sasabing tayo ay human being. Now, this declaration is actually like uh, a legal Pleading in front of a judge, I am guilty. All right, but our verse said, and I think verse next verse 25, na binigay dahil sa ating mga kasuwayan at binuway na maguli sa ikaaaring ganap natin. In English, in King James Version, he was delivered for our offenses. Delivered means he died for our sins. To die or to be delivered in Good news, Bible, it says, 
because of our sins he was given over to die and he was raised to life in order to put us right with God When the first man, Adam, transgressed, violated the law, the commandment of God, he sinned. No. Kinalaban, hindi sinunod ni Adan ang unang utos ng Diyos. Siya ay nagkasala. And because the first man sinned, the next or his generation sinned. We did not sin because we did something wrong. We sinned or we were sinners simply because our DNA, our bloodline, It's the blood of a guilty of crime of sinners. Sinner. Hindi tayo nagkasala dahil tayo ay gumawa ng kasalanan. Nagkasala tayo dahil ang ating lahi. Bloodline ay makasalan. To the guilty or the verdict was death. The final verdict for that generation is death. Ang pinal na hatol sa henerasyon ng unang Adan ay kamat. So he died for you and me. Because we have to receive judgment. And the judgment was consummated on the cross. Ang hatol ay pinatupad sa cross. What is the importance of dying or crucified, being crucified on the cross? Ano ang kahalagaan ng pagpatay sa kanya sa cross? On the cross, our awareness of being you must sinful a curse. were crucified. Ang ipinako sa krus ay ang ating pagkakilala sa sarili. Consciousness. Awareness of being na tayo ay human being. Isinumpa na kahayagan 
humus, man, manifestation of the accursed. Sa krus, ang ipinako at pinatay ay ang ating maling pagkakilala sa sarili. So, there were two verdicts. May dalawang hatol na nangyari sa chapter 4 verse 25. Let's go back to King James Version. Who was delivered for our offenses? He was delivered. He died for our offenses, for our sins, for we were guilty of transgression. And was raised again for our justification. And the cross There was an exchange. The Bible calls it atonement. 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 Or atonement for you and for me. Atonement palitan na imbis ikaw at ako ay siya. Ang bumata ng hatol kamatayan. The sentence for the guilty was death. Jesus died for you and for me. And the death and the only death ang tanging kamatayan pagsunod sa hatol ay ang mamatay ang ating pagkakilala sa ating mga sarili na likas na makasalanan. On the cross, our awareness of being sinful was crucified. Died. Dead. Buried. And when he was raised again to life, there was a final verdict. Nung bumangon siya mula sa patay na buhay na maguli, mayroong ding final verdict. May pinal na hatol for you and for me. Because He did it all for you and for me. Ginawa lahat ni Jesus para sa iyo at para sa akin. Hindi para sa sarili niya. When He raised again to life the verdict said not guilty justification is simply saying we are not 
guilty. It never happened. Freedom. The awareness of being sinful, full of sin, died on the cross. It has to die. Kailan mamatay ang awareness of being. But until this time, hanggang sa mga oras na ito, Christians, sons and daughters of God, are still declaring that they are guilty. The wages, the verdict to everyone who transgress the law is death. That law was proclaimed in chapter 2 of Genesis to the first man. You shall surely die. God made it so precise when he said, you shall surely die. Nung nilabag ng unang tao ang utos ng Diyos sa kanya, sinabi ng Diyos, walang kaduda-duda na mamamatay ka. The second man and the last Adam came. I am come that they might have life. Take note. They might have life and have it all abundantly. The word might is a choice. Ako ngay dumating upang magkaroon tayo o kayo ng buhay at kasaganan ng buhay na ito. It is a choice. If any man be in Christ, it is an if. It is a choice. You keep on declaring calling the heavens and the earth to witness that you are humus man. Kapag patuloy mo din i-deklara na ikaw ilikas na makasalanan, sinong pa, kapatid? You shall surely die. And so, The sons and the daughters of God with his own DNA, bloodline. Because they already received the atonement. Still die. They still suffer the verdict. that they shall surely die. The I am, the last Adam, the second man, came. To die. To receive that verdict for you and me. And when he was raised from the dead, he's saying that the might is a choice. 
Either you join him or reject him. He who is joined unto the Lord is one spirit justified, glorified, Elohim, not guilty. Ang sino man nakipag-isa sa Panginoon ay not guilty. Iisang spirit. Iisang Elohim. Why? You did not become Elohim. Yet, because Elohim cannot become. You were spirit. In Elohim before the foundations of the earth. That's why Apostle Peter is saying we are now partakers again of his divine nature. Hindi ka Elohim Spirito na yumus na naging ispirito. No. Ispirito ka, ha? Na naging yumus. Ibinalik ka lang sa original. But it is always the awareness of being that counts. Ang pagkakilala palagi sa sarili ang nabibilang ng korte sa langit man o sa lupa. The only reality, the only truth is our awareness of being, which is also called consciousness. Ang katangi-tanging realidad, katutuhanan, ay ang pagkakilala natin sa ating sarili, ang ating konsensya na tayo'y not guilty. Kaya, it is too good to be true because of the awareness of being humus man. Sinful. Napakabuting balita, kaya napakahirap paniwalaan dahil ang ating pagkakilala sa sarili ay makasalanan. You are an awareness, nothing else. You are consciousness, nothing else. Ikaw ay konsyensya, wala nang iba. The God of this world is the God of the awareness of being humus, humus man. Ang Diyos ng sanglibutan na ito ay Diyos ng mga isinumpa, mga alabok, nakikitang alabok. The last Adam did not come from humus. No, 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 no. Read your Bible. He is the son of man. The son of the manifestation of God. He is the visible manifestation of God. The last Adam and he has a generation. His generation is he, her, she, who joined unto the Lord. One spirit, one Elohim. And so when you are in death, when you are in death, you are in 
agony, you are in pain, you are sick, you are poor, you are bound. By this awareness of being humus, human. Kapag ikaw ay mahirap, may sakit, may pigati, may kabigatan, ikaw ay pinagharian, kinapos ng pagkakilala mo sa sarili mo na ikaw ay tao lamang likas na makasalanan. Tambakan mang kita ng pera para ipagamot. Mamamatay ka. You shall surely die because of that awareness of being. Lately, just recently, there was a member of the police corps in this town who had a cancer and a tumor. And they called me. I went. Merong uh, miyembro ng kapulisan dito sa bayan na ito. Na meron siyang cancer at may tumor sa utak. At pinatawag nila ako. When I came, I told him his freedom. The verdict that he is no longer guilty because he's a policeman he understood that's a police no no one that he is not guilty therefore he should not suffer the verdict of a guilty man kaya hindi niya dapat danasin ang parusa ng isang makasalanan. After a week, the general what they call it He was brought to specialist, special whatever doctors, and after the, after a week, he was declared not guilty. Pagkatap na isang linggo na pagsisiyas at sa kanya na mga dalubasa, dinikklarasyan not guilty. He was declared healed. No trace of cancer and tumor. Because his awareness of being was changed from guilty to not guilty. He was free. That awareness of being humus man has to die. You don't go to church to pray and reach out to God so that He might at least hear you, cleanse you, heal you. No. We always hear that God can always make a way, of course. But He cannot make a way. He can no longer make a way. He can never 
make a way. He can never heal you. He can never set you free. Why? Because he did all those on the cross. He already done all and all the ways. Healing is done. Freedom is done. Ang kalayan ay nangyari na. When he rose from the dead, he was declared. The verdict came declaring whoever joined him whoever whoever joins the Lord the verdict says not guilty Sino man ang sumama sa kanya sa pagbangon niyang muli, dinideklarang not guilty. Therefore, if you are sick, you have to receive the awareness of being and live by it that you are not guilty. Therefore, that sickness does not belong to you. Pag sumama ka sa Panginoon, Kailan marinig mo ang hatol? You are not guilty. You are justified in naring ganap ka ng Panginoon. Kaya ang sakit na yan ay hindi para sa iyo. Para yan sa mga humus man, sa mga guilty, sa mga sinumpa. The last Adam came from heaven. The first man is of the earth. The second man is Lord from heaven. And his generation are lords. That's why he is called the Lord of lords. His generation is or a or kings. That's why he is called the king of kings. He's the head. You and I. The body. The awareness of the head. Is the awareness of the body. The mind of Christ. Pero kung pagkakilala mo sa sarili mo. Tao ka pa rin naman. Pambakan mo kita ng pera kapatid. Mamamatay ka. Sayang na ang pera ko. Ito tulong ko sa mga maraming mahirap. Kaya siya itulong ko sa iyo. Dala yung baguhin ang iyong kamalayan. Ang pagkakilala mo sa sarili mo, may sakit ka, kailangan mo ang doktor. Tinakwil mo ang awareness of being ng kuling Adan. You are declaring to the world that you are guilty. That you are sinful a curse is sin ng pa kaya puno ka ng sakit kaya pa nagsalita ang tatay mo na si Jesus ay wala pa sa lupa mawalang galang na tatay mali ang sinasabi mo Dahil pag sumang-ayon ka sa kanya, siya ang tatay mo, there is a law, a principle, written in 1 Corinthians 7.14. Whoever are, whoever is the parent, So are the children. Huwag mong bastusin ang tatay mo. Pero palagi niya kinukontra ang mabuting balita na ikaw at ako ay not guilty na. 
Si Ayam ang huling adan dumating na sa lupat na katira sa atin at sa iyo. Pag kinontra niya yan, sabihin mo sa kanya, hindi ako sasama sa iyo. May sarili na akong asawa, pamilya, hihiwalay ako sa tatay at nanay ko. Hindi na ako makiisa sa reliyon mo na sinasabi mo palagi ang mundong ito ay pang-aari pa rin ng satanas na ito. That is an awareness of being humus sinunta. Malala ang sakit mo kapatid. Hindi kaya ng pera. In heaven, there is a room, a big room, full of our accessories, parts of human body, full. Sa langit, may isang kwarto. na puno ng bahagi ng tao. One time, a pastor died. And when he came to that place, an angel took him and showed him that room. Minsan isang pastor na matay, dinala siya ng anghel dun sa kwarto niya. And the angel showed him what is inside the room. At pinakita sa kanya kung anong laman ng kwarto. Full of human parts. Preserved. Puno. ng bahagi ng tao. And he saw an angel also wrapping a part of a body. And it was so wrapped beautifully that we can say, or we can call it a gift or a a box wrapped with a beautiful wrapper at more than a picture of a birthday And so f full of pregnancy, the pastor said. Pagakyat ng pastor, pinagkita sa kanya ang kwarto at nakita niya isang angel. Binabalot ng gusto at nakabalot sa box. Ang isang bahagi ng katawan. Mayroong ribbon. And he asked, The angel with him. What is that? Tinanong niya ang angel, ano yan? Ah! At least somebody. The, 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 the angel said, At least somebody ordered that part of body. At least meron daw isa na nakapag-order ng bahagi. So he asked the angel, Do you mean that all the parts of my body has a spare? Or spares in this room? She said, yes.
Ibig mo bang sabihin lahat ng bagay ng katawan mo? May katawan ko mayroon din ang spare? Yes, of course. Because as a manufacturer, you cannot manufacture something without producing the spare parts. In case a car, whatever you have manufactured, kapag nag-manufacture ka at ang iyong mga ginawa ay nasira, of course, meron kang mga piyasa na nakahanda. That's reality. People do not realize that the awareness of being not guilty is a command that all the angels inside that room or guarding that room is wrapping up, packaging the parts of that body that you have commanded to be brought down to you. Hindi alam ng tao na pakakilala niya sa sarili na siya ay not guilty ay isang malakas na utos sa mga anghel na nagbabantay doon sa kwarto na ibalot at dalhin sa iyo ang bahagi na kailangan mo. When God said, you are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, He cannot and will never be brought down to us unless our awareness of being is the awareness of being not guilty. Hanggat hindi natin kinikilala ang sarili natin na tayo matuwid pinawalang sala ang lahat ng biyaya physical man material man eh hindi natin mauutusan ng sino mang anghel na dalhin sa atin you are not guilty anymore because you join unto the Lord you are one spirit one Elohim you are the fullness of the Godhead bodily it is in your Bible stop listening to those who preach with the awareness of being humus, human, the accursed being. Change your awareness of being. If you want to be free from everything, you need to change your consciousness. Your awareness of being is your freedom. Your awareness of being is your savior. Your awareness of being is your God. That's the verdict. The final verdict when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and now seated at the right hand of God with you and me. And he is now the head of the body you and me his flesh and his bones why are you called the flesh and the bones of Christ because you have the life and the mind of Christ that's the verdict you've been set free but you need to know the truth so can you can so that you can make yourself free. You've been set free, but you're not made free. God set you free, but you must to make yourself free. Freedom, guys, freedom. Pinalaya ka ng panginoon, pinawalang sala ka ng panginoon. Pero gagawin mo sa bili mo, walang sala. 
sa pagkakilala sa sarili mo na ikaw ay pinawalang sala. Justified and glorified. Father Almighty, great I am. Thank you for setting us free. And now, we call heaven and earth to witness tonight that we are making ourselves free for we declare we are not guilty. Thank you, Father. We bless you. Thank you, Daddy, Holy Spirit. We love you. And we give you back the glory and the dominion in the mighty name of our head, our life, and our awareness of being. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. My angels, again, I dispatch you. Go forth, guys. Go forth and proclaim this truth. In Jesus' mighty name. Guys, I love you. I hope my English was somehow understandable. <laughs> I love you.